Well, wind, wind's blowing the other way, but we're going to go ahead and try it right here just to see what happens. Usually have really good luck over here in this hole, so hopefully that continues. And now I've got a bigger hook, so it's going to be a lot nicer for catching them big ones. We haven't even got all three lines in the water yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I spoke too soon. Dang it. So we might not get as many bites though because we're using the really, really big hook now. Like we got the big boy on. It don't get no bigger. Can't believe it, we just caught that little perch off uh, this big of a hook. That's crazy. Ooh, this one's fighting a little bit. This might be a nice fish.
All right, we just hooked another nice fish. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at the tip of that rod bent over. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a nice one, guys. Nice, 25 pound fish. Hell yeah, we'll take that all day. I haven't much luck off this spot today though. We might have to go to the other end. Packing it up. Had to do another spot on the lake. See a pretty good sized ripple out there on the water.
Man, this fish just does not want to come in. Ooh, looks like a nice one now. Hey, nice little boss fish right there. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Christian? Just got ourselves a nice little boss fish just a few seconds ago. Trying a different spot today though. We tried the other two locations a little bit ago. They didn't work out very well. So we went ahead and jumped down here. Oh, that one snapped off. Dang it. So how's your day going, man? Went ahead and got us some bigger hooks as well so that way we can target bigger fish now instead of just small ones constantly. Oh, that's what's up. Just getting off of work. Hell yeah. I'm hoping we can maybe catch the big one today. Or at least just multiple boss, you know, fishes. We already got one, so... Plus, I got us some new bait, uh, new hooks, new reel.
You missed the big catfish though. Uh, caught a big catfish earlier. Went ahead and did part of today's tournament. There's still another part of it. I still gotta go back and do it. I didn't wanna finish all of it because there wasn't nobody else on viewing. So went ahead and waited to finish that. Uh, it's just a bunch of small fish though. No real big ones. It's on a different lake today. This one might be a nice sized fish right here. Man, I hate when they get to seven, eight yards and they just stay. Another little guy, but even this little guy right here could be a boss. That's what we're targeting. I'm liking this new bait and new hooks that we got though. It's pulling in a lot of bigger fish. And I done caught uh, three boss fish today off of this new bait. Ooh, we might have just took the big boy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Right here, another boss fish. If it's not a boss fish, this right here is going to be still a decent sized fish right here. This new bait that I just got, man, a new hook is just knocking them dead. And I also figured out how to pull the fish back in after they get out of the map and reach the boundary. Figured out how to slowly get them to come back into the boundary so you can catch them. It just takes a minute and you gotta be real gentle with the reeling. You can't just pull right back and just crank on it. Oh yeah man, I'm pretty tired of myself. Hopefully this is a nice one. It took off like it was a nice one. Might be a catfish. Look like that's what we got on three right there, sitting there on three. Hell yeah, nice little catfish. Let's cross our fingers. That's what it looks like. Now hopefully if we can get one on one, who we do that we be looking good.
Ooh, look at him jumping out there. Let's go. Oh no, it's a big carp though. Damn, look at the size of this carp. Let's get it. 29 pounds, 11 ounces. That was a big carp. Hopefully we've got a nice catfish set in here. At least 10 plus pounds would be nice. All right, that's what's up. This one's called just catfish. Before I pick that other one up, I better drop the durability on that line right there. People keep calling me from private number. I don't even know who they are. Hello? Hello? No, that's why I'm going to be answering private numbers. <clears throat> Well, we're not catching real, real big ones, but at least we're catching.
We need to hook that big boy again. That's what we really need. Tired myself, bro. Think as we reel them in, we're gonna put corn back on all of them. Here in a second, we're going to move down if we don't start catching big fish. I'm just kind of following around the lake this time. I'm going to do that with each lake until I end up with every one of the boss fish that's in the game. Plumb into the new one. And then as soon as that new lake comes out, I'm going to buy it instantly as soon as it drops.
Ooh, looks like we finally hooked another nice one. Ah, you good, man. Oh yeah, they're starting to jump and go wild now. Hey, there you go. If whatever works, man. Hell, I usually just give me like a little energy drink or something from the dollar store. Man, this one right here stuck at 29. I think it got stuck in that grass.
I think it's about ready to pop the line. Whatever it is, it's not letting me pull it. There it goes. So at that point, just let me break it. Rolling all and uh, all these big fish, it's hard to tell if it's a boss fish or if it's just you know a twenty pounder. Better start getting into the big boys here in a second or I'm going to find a different spot on the lake. Man, are you kidding me? See, look, this one just got up into the brush, too. It's so stupid. Two fish in a row. Damn, this one's running straight for the weeds. This was, that's so stupid. I'm about to lose three fish in a row, probably. Over in those weeds, it's a done deal.
There we go. We're going to get that fun in some rain. Maybe the big boys will come out and play. Yeah, that's what we got on right now is a double large sweet corn and the big hook. See, we can't fish on that other end by them weeds because we don't have the right hook. We don't have the weed hook in this size, so that's why we keep losing them down there. And plus I turned off the wind too because it's just going to be wherever the fish are moving to instead of the wind pushing them one direction if that's even how it works. Dang, I seen how far it took off out there. I was hoping it was a big one, but it's not. It's another baby. <coughs> it's alright though, they bound to hit eventually. We ain't got no time limit.
What are you talking about? 420 height. Ooh, looks like we might have a nice one on one. Dang, just another baby pulling it out. Uh, okay, I got you. I thought maybe that's what you were talking about because I looked down to see what time it was and... Man, that fish on line three is probably dead by now. Oh yeah, it's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving, it's dead. get pumped come on where's all these big fish at man we knocked them dead the last two days and then now here it is dead as hell with nothing a couple bites here and there might need to change up the hook i think we're gonna try that maybe these big fish ain't liking this hook but it says the hook that we got is for the big fish that's what i don't get Going with the size six. You think maybe it's because of the rain? Maybe I should just put it like calm, clear skies.
Any ideas, man, you let me know right there in the comments, man. We'll check it out. <laughs> we caught a roach. I'm dead. <laughs> we just caught a minnow. See, because it don't seem like every time we fished in the rain, it don't seem like we're really catching that big of fish. And not very many at all. Seems like every time we've caught them, it's been nice, calm, clear weather, which sometimes just a little overcast. Let's see what happens. Let's give it just a couple more minutes, see what happens, because it is going further into the day. I got it set on slow time. Uh, it's just about into nighttime now. And if we don't start getting hits on something here pretty quick, we're going to get the hell out of here and put it back into normal weather and we changed up the hooks now we're getting more bites after I got rid of that big hook see cause that big hook might be for that other lake that has that 150 pounder in it Man, we might have spoke too soon. Look, they're starting to go off now. Another little baby. Dang it. Yeah, we're going to jump weather. Let me get these two rolled in and we're going to put the weather back to normal. Calm, clear day. Nice and sunny. Look at the water, it's like turning a weird color every time it splashes. We just hooked a tainted fish. As soon as I went to pick it up to you. No, I forgot to change the deal. Hopefully the weather's calm. As long as the weather's calm, we're good. I double tapped it and it instantly started the dang thing. Hey, that's what's up. We'll take it. Just the way it is right here. Dang, but the wind's moving. It's alright, we're going to try it here for a minute and then we're going to jump over to that other spot.
Oh yeah, look, they're everywhere now. And it could just be this terrain too. Let's see, maybe on one of the other lakes, the other lake is put there for the rain. Well, at least we already got a fish on. Looks like it might be a 20 pounder at least. Nice, look at the color on this one. 19 pounds, 5 ounces. Not bad, it's not what we want, but we'll take it. What's going on, Pika? How you doing today? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. Just trying to target that big catfish in this pond here. Well, lake. It's about the size of a pond, though. Uh, we've caught a couple of boss fish, but nothing real big. Game pissed me off the other day, so we had to come back and try to get it again before moving on to another lake. We hooked him a couple of times. We just never could catch it. <laughs> no worries it looks just fine you didn't see my profile picture it's like solid black with just a little bit of color Alright, I'm thinking we need to head to the other end of the lake.
That's all right, though. We'll get it fixed here pretty soon. The more and more, you know, I'm able to figure out how to use the new software that I just got. Uh, I'll get a better one. What's your question? I might have an answer. Ooh, on a Wii? That's a good question, man. Uh, I tried figuring that out here a while back, and I could not figure it out to save my life. And I actually came across one video. Let me pull it up right here, and I'll tell you what the dude's name is. Uh, it was on YouTube, and he figured out how to do it. I didn't have the right cord. I'm going to pull it up real quick on my phone. Let me get these lines in the water, and I'll tell you who to go watch. He's got a video on his channel about it. But I couldn't figure it out to save my life. I figured out how to do the Wii U, uh, the Nintendo Switch, then the PlayStation and the Xbox. Because there, in the capture card that I have, there's not even that option, you know what I'm saying, for you to click on to a uh, Wii. Only thing that it says is other. So the only thing I can think of maybe is if you have like the HD Gato 60. Uh, gaming capture card then maybe you could click on other and maybe that would work but let me pull up this video real quick I got these in the water now I'll tell you exactly who to go watch and dude's got a nice little video on it Alright, dude's channel's name is We Like to Play. Um, he, it'll be a picture of Super Mario Wii. And it's not the Wii, uh, you. It's just the original Wii. Yeah, I'm not for sure if the YouTube app works or not. I've never tried that. Um, but there's two different channels that I found videos for. And it's the same two people I watched uh, when I was looking at streaming and what I was going to be streaming. And the One Dude's channel is We Like to Play and <clears throat> Games in HD. Uh, one of them tells you how to stream old consoles. The other dude teaches you how to stream nothing but the Wii. In old gaming consoles. Uh, the second one. W. I. I. L. I. K. E. And so forth on. The second one. And he's got a nice little video right here. Uh, teaches you how to stream. And then he's got another video that's showing you that the stream works. And he's got the whole setup of what you need. Like I said, I just got the capture card HD60, so I don't know exactly what you would need for what you're trying to do. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure it out how I can stream Pokemon and do like uh, shiny hunts. But my girl, she's uh, going to be home here in a few hours. So she's at Walmart here in a minute. I'm going to have her check to see if she can find the cable that I need to live stream Pokemon. 
And I can do all sorts of shiny giveaways. I can do all sorts of different stuff. Right on. Thank you. I appreciate that, Pika. I gotta answer this phone right quick.
Sorry about that. <coughs> I had to take that phone call though. Dang, hopefully we didn't lose too many fish. Yeah, I just had to take a phone call real quick. And they're a few hours away, so it's not like I can miss the phone call. And still be able to get what I need because I need that cord so that way I can plug my 3DS into the capture card in the computer. Don't know exactly what it is I need but I got her looking and she's going to figure it out for me so she's already at the store. Look at that, and we come back and hook a nice fish. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Here's a boss. Let's go. Trying to pull him out away from that corner over there. No, he's going back for it. Oh, come on. Start coming back. Oh, he tried to pop the line. No. He popped it. I bet you. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. Let's go. He didn't throw it yet. Damn it. So close. That was another big one right there. Man. Oh, every time. Every ding time. He did it when he snapped that line back and the line jumped. Dang it. It's alright though. We'll get him next time. Uh, Pika said, you said you can't find it? Yeah, because all I typed in, because I still have it here and saved in my deal. All I typed in was how to live stream on the Wii gaming console. Man, I can't believe we just lost that big boy. Dang it. That really sucks. Man, I gotta answer this phone again. I'm gonna keep playing though.
Alright, uh, did you find them? I found what they have, but it's not like what we had before. They just have the small systems, like the uh, surround sound systems. Oh, they just got the little ones? Yeah. Well, uh, what's it say the wattage is? So none of them are real big. Yeah, you're gonna have to to get something like that, probably. Uh, hey, right, well, did you find that movie? Okay, did, is there any Resident Evil one out as well, or just that one? Well, what... Alright, we'll see what else, is, what all has came out. Well, the new, yeah, we haven't watched that. That might be pretty cool. Alex would probably like that one. Well, if you want, we can get the Star Wars and the Underworld. Say, so Alex would probably like both of those. So, get those and we'll watch those. Alright, and then grab dinner. Alright, yeah, don't worry about getting the uh, surround song this time. You can get that next time you guys go. Alright, love you. Bye. There we go. There's just a nice big catfish. That's what's up. That's what we're looking for. 31 pounds. We caught him in the rain, too, so... Oh yeah, let's get it. Hell yeah, Christian, big catfish, man. 31 pounds. That's what's up. That's what we like to see. It's alright though. We're going to catch Felix or the other one here after a bit. Watch. Like I said, I got about four hours to stream. The only thing I got to do is I got to let the dog out again here in just a little bit. And that's it. Other than that, I got until... I don't know, about another three hours of streaming. And then I'm going to watch a movie with my boy when he gets home. But man, that one that we hooked right before that last catfish, it was a pretty decent sized one too, and it popped the line.
Dang, got that close and I snapped it. Hey, so did you find that cord that I need for the 3DS to the com Oh, you have to have a capture card installed into the computer? Yep. Into the 3DS. Oh, into the 3DS. So then I'll have to order it off of Amazon then. Because it's just going to be something that plugs into the top of it. Alright, well, grab dinner. Okay. Uh, I was going to tell you, you can take Alex to McDonald's if you want. He can try to get him another one of them uh, Mario toys. Um, it's, it's, okay. He was showing me the earlier that he got Yoshi and one of the other ones that he got yesterday or something. Yeah, he got that, uh, the Yoshi today. They probably only have Yoshi, but I can buy the Alright. Alright. Alright, love you. I want a salad though. Alright. Alright, bye. All right, back to business. Like I said, they're hours away, so you know I gotta pick up the phone when they call, so that way I can get my order in, make sure I'm getting what I asked for. Be showing up with like a 99 cent burger off the dollar menu or something. I ain't gonna eat that crap. Man, Christian, we at least got one big one, man. Let's see. Sorry, I'm watching a video. I cannot hear a thing in it. Yeah, some people be making videos like that where you can't hear in it. Uh, that's why I sat and stress, you know, so much every day about the sound quality and the picture quality that, you know, I'm giving you guys. So that way you guys are getting what you guys are wanting and I'm getting what we paid for. Sorry you guys had to, you know, take the phone call with me, but I ain't got nothing to hide, you know what I'm saying? So, it's all live. Ain't no thing to me. We all human, right? We all gotta eat, so... What do you think, Christian? Should we set at this spot right here on the lake, or should we find a different one? I mean, because we already did get the nice catfish, and then another big one hit, but we didn't catch him. So should we stay here, you know, to see if more comes back, or should we try to find a different location?
All right, all right. I'm just saying, man, you know, you've seen enough on this game to, you know, know a little bit about it as well. So if you got any ideas, man, you throw them out there and we will definitely try it. I know it's going to come back, though. I mean, they always do. It's just any ideas you have, any bait you want to try, any of it, just let me know. Because I also figured out we can change the bait. Even though it says tackle box one, you can go into it and change it while you're in game. So we don't have to back out to ever do that. If you got any ideas, just shoot them out. Like I said, the one dude said he caught a hundred pound catfish off a uh, the little worm looking deal, those little maggot looking white bugs. Uh, what was it? I think he said it was like 10 mm or something like that, 10 millimeter. Well, that's pretty small compared to what we're using now. And he said he caught the hundred pounder off of it, so I mean, I haven't tried it, but it's something we could try as well. Man, I can't wait until they get home. I finally get to watch the new Star Wars movie and the new Underworld. Where we live, they don't have a movie theater. So, it's not like we can just pick up and, you know, go watch a movie when they come out. We have to wait for DVD and Blu-ray. Looks like we just hooked another big one. Let's go. It's sitting at 39 on the test. And he's still dragging it out. Yeah, this is going to be another decent sized one. Even if it's a big carp, it's still going to be a decent sized fish. Hey, and we placed 8th uh, in that tournament we did the other day. 8th place, man, is what we tied with. So that was pretty good. We got a lot of points for that one. And like I said before midnight, I still have to finish that other 30 minute tournament and we'll see where we finish out on that one. We were closing down in on the top 200 earlier, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, look at the tail. It's a little glitchy, you know what I'm saying, because it's a new game, but... Look at the tail coming out of the water. This is going to be another nice one. Let's go. Catfish banked. We got him in the bag. Twenty six pounds. Hell yeah. We've got both of them catfish right off this corner right over here. I see a lot of ripples going up right here where we're catching them at too. So I think I'm going to move one over there as well. Both them catfish we caught right here off this point. And that's where that big one hit as well, so maybe he'll come back. And we're fishing in mud, so I'm starting to figure out, you know, where the different fish run at. I just can't believe that we've caught all the catfish other than the one big 50 pounder that we caught the day before yesterday on that far end. We caught him on a gravel bed. The rest of them have all been in mud.
All right, as soon as we get these three lines back in, uh, we'll move on down to that other side. We'll give them a second, nothing else hits on them, we're going to go ahead and pick up and move. We won't wait. But even still, that's pretty nice. I mean, that's two nice catfish within half hour time period. Uh, here lately, we've been just getting them one per stream. I mean, that's two pretty quick, so hopefully we can catch some more. I want to hook the Loch Ness Monster. You're talking about down on that far end, right? Where we found that nice little hole at, where we caught that uh, 50 pounder. Yeah, I want to try something though because of the angle and the direction we are casting. I want to try fishing that uh, gravel bar from this side over here instead of that other side. Because we'll still be casting out, you know, in the same direction, same area. we get through right here yeah we're sure that we can That gravel bar should be right out here. We just gotta find it because we cast them out towards a different direction. Seeing a lot of ripples though. a nice one just jumped right there see I figured if we came right here we'd be able to cast back out that way but this trees in the way we'll try right here and then we'll move back over to our regular spot because we know we can hit that hole from over there
There we go. We're back in the action already. Let's see, and we're not even down in that corner where the wind is blowing, you know, all the fish that way. We're off up up here. Completely different terrain, and we're still catching fish. So I don't think it necessarily goes just off of the wind direction. Because if you listen to three right now, three's beeping pretty good. That's going to have the decent sized fish on it. Two's going to be a small fish. Man, look at two. Maybe two's the big one. Two's about the other side of the lake. So is three. Three's getting out there from good little ways now, too. And then you pick up the pole on their little. Come on now. I don't think you could feed your cat with the size of this fish. I gotta pick him up before we grab three just to see. Like this one here's a beast. Dang, another little one. Man, I thought for sure we had a nice one on there. It was beeping pretty good. That's not, it's another baby. I can tell just by how quick it's coming in. See, I just think we found two nice little holes within the lake. Now we just got to find other good holes within the lake. Because that's the same spot we're always casting right here where we're throwing these ones out at. And we just need to move over just a little bit more and we'll start hitting that gravel pile. Because if you look real close, you can see them out here flipping and flopping right there, right out in front of us. I just need to get it in the right spot and then clip the line. All right, now that's ridiculous. Less than two feet out to the left right there, that damn thing just jumped. That's almost teasing us right there, man. Oh, look, I think we just snagged that black one that just jumped right there in front of us. We already got him on one. I'm pretty sure that's him. Now that's targeting fish right there.
No, don't do that to me. I think we might have lost him. Ooh, do we get him back within the map? Pull this one back in. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's two of them today. I, I dropped the line drag all the way down and got them in. It's another catfish, too. Right off that same spot, see? You can hit it from either side. So that's three catfish today. So that's pretty good. That's the most in one day so far. Ooh, looks like maybe a nice one on three, but we don't know because the small ones have been taking them out pretty good as well. Another small fry.
Man, all three of them were carp, too. There we go. I'll put one just a little bit closer. Maybe we can pull something in by the bank. another weakling man where's that big one at today Hello, how are you doing, Blaze? That's what's up. That's always a good thing. Always a good thing. Oh, I'd be... I'm doing good. Uh physically but game wise you know I'd be doing a lot better if we can hook back into bad boy that we hooked into the other day uh, we caught what three catfish so far which ain't bad um, we just not catching what we want and you know what I'm saying so we doing good but we doing bad at the same time I think we're going to move back over to our normal spot that we usually fish at. Uh, me and Christian here, we found a nice little hole the other day. Catch a lot of big fish out of it, so we're going to move back over to that location. Now it's starting to rain even harder, so that means it's going to make it even harder to catch one. Yeah, we starting to figure out this game, but we spent a good little bit of time on this lake right here, though. Uh, we're going to start doing a lake each day and doing our daily tournaments, and we're going to get the rhythm down to this game and exactly where all the good holes are. And Get back over here in our other location, start catching a little bit better fish.
And that's not even that cloudy and it's still just pouring down rain. I wish we could fish right here off this corner. Alright Christian, let's cross our fingers man. We're gonna go to the hole. See what happens. Oh, I know, right? A lot of walking. Well, looking at the distance now, I guess we weren't really fishing in that same area. We were a lot further back. Nah, I've never streamed on Twitch. Thought about it, but I've never done it on Twitch. Why is Twitch streaming a lot better or like what's the difference? It's all the same, isn't it? You got me kind of curious now. I think I was reading somewhere as though uh, on Twitch you can get paid a little bit more because you can get paid after like 500 subscribers or something like that. I think I've only watched Twitch like maybe a total of five times. Always go to YouTube. Always YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That is a lot. I'm surprised I got the 140, you know what I'm saying, that I got. I mean, it's it hasn't been easy. It's been a lot of learning and... A lot of long nights grinding on the games and different softwares and so it's, it's been a pretty interesting journey. Alright nice, the weather's starting to clear up, maybe fish will start biting again. See, one was hitting at three just a second ago. Hell. No, put him outside. Damn, that poor little puppy. Could you guys hear that? 
let the dog back in and the cat she's about ready to have kittens and she jumped on the little puppy and scared him well I'm right on thank you I appreciate that Oh yeah, I bet you he don't walk back over by the cat like that again. Like she was pissed. He's just a small little dog too. The cat's like three, four times the size he is. And he walked over by her bed and she freaked. You know, I think it's these hooks we're using. I really do. I think we're going to go back to the six. I think the four is too big. Oh yeah, no dude, it was brutal. That's why I jumped up and ran over there real quick because she chased him from the front door all the way back into the bedroom and she just kept attacking him. I think it's just because she's about ready to have the kittens. I think that's the only reason why she's doing it. I could have swore there was more gravel right here. That's what I was looking for. There's a little gravel bed. So I know there's one way far out. No, it's just all silt. Yeah, I got no clue what none of them numbers mean, man. You lost me there for a second. Uh, no, I don't have a clue who Blade Blur is, to be honest with you. Um, I know there's been quite a few people mention that name in the chat, but I don't know who it is. Yeah, see, Christian knows who it is. I know Pika knows who it is, but I ain't got the slightest idea. I, that's what they said, the same thing, is that he does shiny hunting. That's what I want, I'm wanting to get into, is doing, like, some shiny hunting videos and stuff, and, like, giveaways. Because I have lots of shiny Pokemon. I mean, we're talking four games full of shiny Pokemon. I just got a new game here while back that had 20, 30 of them on there. Uh... I do a lot of shiny hunting just on my own on the new one and on Omega Ruby.
but right now I'm shiny hunting on uh, sun and I got my little boy shiny hunting on moon and man we keep coming across them left and right I just don't know how to get it to pull up into my computer or the capture card so that way you know I could view it to everybody else and then plus do you know like them giveaways and stuff Yeah, I get into that shiny hunt, man. That stuff's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That's how I met uh, Christian and uh, Pika and a couple other people as they came in a raid here a while back. And that's how I met all these guys. Oh, now that I look at your name a little bit closer, uh, you're who Pika was telling me about earlier. She was going to mention to to see exactly what I needed to be able to plug it into my computer or to the capture card but I think my girl done figured it out though there we go now there's fish everywhere See, I think Irish Gaming might be right, uh, Christian. We might need to follow the wind and just stick, stick with the wind and just kind of move around in that general location. Yeah, I don't remember that. And like I say, the only people I know that rated mine was uh, Bullpix. Yeah, that's what a lot of people's mentioned that, putting, you know, like the donation link. But I looked into it. We have it set up. I mean, I could set it up like as we speak. It's just I've always felt, you know, a little uncomfortable about putting it out for money, you know what I'm saying, than doing it the way we're doing it now. So, I mean, is that kind of like how a lot of people do it is, you know, they set up the donation deal?
too. I think we might have hooked another catfish. Yeah, I'll have to look, in into, look into it a little bit more. Like I said, I got the card. You know, I got my bank account information. Got all that kind of stuff. Uh, got it all set up to where all I have to do is just add the overlay onto the YouTube channel itself for the link. Um, all right, right there was another big catfish. Plus, I was kind of waiting, too, to see what YouTube does with all the ads and all that kind of stuff. Now they made it to where, like, we're making a little bit of revenue from the live streams. But as far as, you know, like the actual videos, uh, they changed it on the 6th. And now you got to get, like, 10,000 views or something like that. Oh, that big fish is out of the map. He just glitched out the whole game. This is a big one. Hopefully I didn't break it. Oh, he did too. It snapped it on the outside of the map. Dang. There was another big one right there and we lost it. That sucks. Crap. As soon as I picked it up. Well, at least we know we're back in the right area again, Christian. There's number four of the stream, so that's a good thing. These fish here are limited to the lake, so. Oh yeah, we're going to start knocking them dead. Man, I want that big boy to come back on. Yeah, that's why I'm saying no. He got all the way out the back of the map, man. Like straight up, all the way out the back. That's why it started glitching out. Every time it gets it starts glitching out like that, that's because they've done broke the boundary. I'm sure they'll get that fixed though here pretty soon in one of the updates. We haven't even got an update for this game yet. It's alright, we're in the right location now. I mean, there's ripples and fish jumping everywhere so it's just a matter of time I just wish it didn't put the fish back in the lake put it like in a live well or something until the very end makes me feel like you're just catching the same fish over and over Nah, I don't mess with no mods, man. Depends on like what kind of mods you're talking about, though. I mean, PlayStation-wise, no, I don't have no mods, like, whatsoever. Um, now, I do have a 3DS mod, 
that I've never used that's brand new, never even been opened. I do have that, but outside of mods, no, I don't really mess with it, really. Just the 3DS one from, like, what? I think it was, like, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Why, what kind of mod are you looking for? Oh, man, I thought you were talking like cheating mods, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I don't have no, uh, like, moderators, anything like that for YouTube. No, I'm working on that. I've had to pretty much figure all of this out, you know what I'm saying? Amongst like people that's joined into the chat and my fiance, and then you know stuff that I figured out on my own. Um, that is something that I am working on now. I got confused for a second. I thought this dude's like trying to pick up on some like actual mod mods, want like a mod menu or something. Yeah, no, I got to figure out how to set it all up and, you know, make it to where that person's the mod for YouTube and what have you. All in time, though. Like I said, I've made big, big progress from when I first started doing this till now, so... And yes, Christian, you as being one of them. Uh, you and Pika and uh, Wolfie, you three have been, you know, pretty much the main three supporters, you know, within the live streams and what have you. So, and most definitely you. Uh, I know Wolfie mentioned it here a while back, but hasn't ever really came back and mentioned it. I think that's what we're going to work on uh, tomorrow because my girl's just getting back home. Uh, they'll be home later tonight and she'll be home for a few days before they got to go back to Boise. And I think that's what we're going to work on is getting the mod set up, getting my uh, little area set up, my station, you know, and trying to get a little bit uh, faster running speed for connection wise. So we get in there. Yeah, that's who it is. But mod wise, I know the only person that really wants to do it is Christian. And he spent a lot of time in here with me, so I know that's one person for sure I would love to have as a moderator. Another big catfish right here. Let's go. This is another decent sized fish. Could be a big carp though. What's a BC? Oh yeah, no man, Christian's been awesome. Uh, I like this dude here, man. Real chill, real nice guy. Always joins into the streams, you know what I'm saying? Been real supportive. Uh, nothing but good, you know what I'm saying? Positive comments, good feedback, like everything. Uh, 
that's why like when it was mentioned you know that he said you know doing the whole mod deal i was very very happy and thankful because that's something we've been trying to set up and i just don't want it to be anybody you know what i'm saying i want it to be someone that's going to be loyal and not disrespect the other people and take advantage of that power and he don't seem like somebody that's going to do that so very very thankful that you know he mentioned it Ooh, we got a big carp oh yeah I don't know what part of California that's got to be like down in the bay area down in the south huh because I'm from central California well a little bit northern California around Sacramento and I know that's not around Sacktown. Yeah, Crazy Guy Gamer is a uh, Christian. Uh, the other guys, I don't know none of their names other than just Christian and uh, Toast, which is William. I can't tell if it's mud or what exactly it is. I know there's a lot of debris sitting right here next to the bank starting to float up. Earlier the water was nasty and dirty enough that the one fish looked like it was spewing out toxic chemicals coming out of it. And every time it would hit the top of the water it would change color. Oh, that's what's up, man. Well, Christopher, nice to meet you. I'm Sean. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I got a cousin named Christopher. Man, hopefully that big one comes back and hits again. We're setting on another gravel bar with two, so we got a pretty good chance. That's where we caught the last few big ones. Yeah, William. Yeah, Toast. He seemed pretty chill, man. Dude cracks me up. Some of the stuff he was saying was pretty dang funny. But plus you, I think, isn't it you and him that know each other from like other streams and stuff? Like you guys all know one another, just one big group. So I'm pretty sure he was in the Vulpix raid as well uh, when I met you. I'm pretty sure I met you guys the same night at the same time. Yeah, because there was like 
14, 15 of you guys that joined in all at once? 16 of you guys? Like, I know there was quite a few. What's Disco uh, Discord? What is that? Is that like some kind of gaming site? See, a lot of the stuff you guys be talking about, I don't even know what it is. Like, I know what uh, YouTube and gaming consoles are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what Facebook and Twitter is, of course, but nothing really outside of that. Like, I didn't even know what Reddit was until just a couple of months ago. And yeah, the water's starting to turn muddy. It's starting to turn a lot browner up by the bank and moving its way out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never check into stuff like that, man. To be honest with you, like, until this year, uh, well, going into the end of last year, all I used to ever do was just get on and play Call of Duty. That was it. I was just one of them hardcore pub players, and that's all I ever did. And now I'm starting to, ooh, look at this big roach. I think this might be the boss, man. Not trying to jump off subject, but I think it is. Yep. We just caught the boss fish for the roach. That's what's up. But uh, anyways, most of the time I just played Call of Duty. So all this other stuff, I don't really know what a lot of it is. Because I would just join online, do my thing, turn it off, go to bed. And like I said, I live out in the country, so we don't have much out here. And don't really ever search the web for anything like that. Bro, I can't believe we just caught that boss roach, though. That's another boss fish right there, man. We keep catching them the way we're catching them. We'll be done with this lake in no time. But I think in order to catch all of them, we'll have to eventually switch bait. Yeah, my mom lives in uh, Yuba City, California, and she said it's been raining like crazy there. Most of the time it's really, really hot at this time of year. Oh yeah, see, you only, you just a couple hours from my mom, you ain't far from my mom at all. Yeah, that's where I was born and raised at, man. California. Uh, Yuba City, right outside of Sacramento. Hell yeah, man. Cali boys, that's what's up. Now I live out in the country. That's where we moved to after I left California. Was We moved from there and came here and... We've lived out here for a good little while, and it's pretty nice. We enjoy it. I'll probably never go back to California after coming here. Only thing I miss about uh, not being in California, other than, the, you know, there's more things to do, and that's a different variety of people. Here, I'm a city boy. And when I get here and I live here, it's nothing but country people. You know what I'm saying? It's totally different lifestyle. Oh, yeah. San Diego is really nice. I like that area. Yeah, see, where I live at now, man, closest city to me, one way, is 245 miles, and turn the other direction, and it's a little over 300, and our population here is, 
they say 1200 on the website but after the mine closed it dropped down to about 300 350 people total population Ooh, look at the size of that big boy. There's another boss fish right there. Let's get it. Hey, there's Toast. What's going on, William? Yes, we were talking about you, my friend. Hey, that's what's up. It'll be another, let's see, what time is it? Hell, that'll probably be another two, three hours before I eat dinner. <coughs> that's, <clears throat> that's all right, though. It'll be worth it because, uh, she bring it home with some McDonald's salad, so I'll be good to go. There's only once in a great while we get to eat that. All you city people, you're like, man, McDonald's salad? Hell, I could have that anytime I want it. Yeah, not me. It's like once or twice every three, four months, if that. Man, I was hoping that big one came back. He ain't hit yet, though. <clears throat> We're in the right spot, though. It's just a matter of time. I kind of want to try out that uh, 10 millimeter uh, maggots in the hook and see what happens. That's what uh, Irish Gaming was saying to use and that's what he caught that 100 pounder off of. Yeah man, it's been like 7-8 years since I've seen a car show. We got a rodeo that comes through every year. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, I live in straight 
Hicktown, man. Like, straight up, no exaggeration. Uh, we got a rodeo ground uh, about four blocks out my front door. Uh, it's country enough that there's some horses that live a half a block out my front door and to the right. Um, we got some donkeys out the back door. Um, there's roosters that run around everywhere. There's chickens everywhere. Uh, I live straight in the sticks, man. But I get, you know, things that you guys don't get. Like I have a salmon season every year, stillhead season every year. Um, some of the rarest trout within the United States. People come in from all over the world to come and fish. So, I mean, it has its upsides, you know, just as it has its downside. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. It is pretty neat. That's one reason why I will never go back to California. Look at the size of that fish that just jumped right there. Like, I'll never go back to California. I'll live here the rest of my life. Oh, yeah, see, Blaze, you know what's up. See, and I was looking back uh, just a little bit ago. I was looking through some of my previous streams and messages and stuff. And yeah, I met you a couple of months ago. And then I met you again when uh, you came in on the Vulpix raid. Yeah, the roosters that we got around here are the neighbors. Drive me up the wall, man. Piss me off more than anything. Like, them dang things never shut up. Never. All day and all night long, they always go in. And they mean as hell, too, man. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, you can be the toughest person in the world. Go get your hand on a mean fighting rooster and then come back and talk to me. Them damn things are mean as hell. Look, there he is again. That big black one just jumped on the bank. Man, he down there came out of the water. That big one's about ready to hit again. Watch. It's about that time. Because, see, we're about ready to go fully into nighttime. And he's been hitting right before morning. Which is weird because the other day we were catching him at uh, daytime. Man, we just about leveled up again. We about ready to unlock some new tackle. Man, where the big daddy's at? They gone.
Which sucks too, man, because we're using the same bait that we were using the other day and the other night. And we were just catching him left and right, getting him to hooked. We just could never land him. Now dude's not even popping up whatsoever. We ain't even caught Felix. I think now that we fished a few days uh, duration time within the game I think after uh, we reel in this next time I'm gonna close this lobby and I'm gonna re you know come back into the lake and this time we're gonna make it to where there's no wind whatsoever and just may have nice calm clear lake maybe I'll bring in some more fish and then they just won't you know be scattered out and when then we won't have to follow the wind either. do that real quick it'll only take us a second ooh plus we can go get that new item where was it right here number four gravel and there's our silk that's what's up that's what we've been looking for Why not? Might as well get a new bait while we're at it. There it is. Is that a top or a bottom? Get rid of a black one. I think we're going to drop the size of our bait just a little bit too on one of them. Run two different corn. Oh yeah, that live bait that dude was talking about. Where's it at? Oh yeah. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're going to get some new bait and we're going to do all of the above, man. There should have been like a little white looking maggot. I know it sounds gross, but that's what it's called. That's what it, that's live bait. It's a maggot. Here it is right here. So they're pinkies. They're pink. Okay, we need a size 20. Or 18 hook. Pretty sure that's going to be the 12 down here. That's going to be the small one. So we're going to go gravel. That should be the six gravel that's what we want for the one. Better put on that one. Later, Pika. You have a good afternoon. I'm trying to think, should we get rid of those? See, I like these ones more than the black ones, so I think we're going to go with these ones, the Cordura. Yeah, I think that's what we want. Alright, so we got two different sizes of corn now, two different baits. I think we're good to go. Now this we want to change. Conditions, clear sky. No wind. One day equals three hours. No. We're going to have a nice, good, calm fishing deal. So we're going to go into the night. That's what I'm talking about. Got a whole new setup now, Christian. So 
if it's a bust, we'll change it while we're in game. I just wanted to back out that way we can get that other hook because now we have the other uh, size 6 Cordura, which is going to help us out because now we can actually have the right hook for within the gravel. So maybe that'll help out. Instead of using a black hook, we're going to have a greenish color hook. So hopefully that'll play a better part in catching something. Plus there's no wind now too, so it should be nice and calm. And we won't be cycling through the days as fast, so we'll have more of a chance of catching what's supposed to be out at that time. So we're about ready to hit our hole up and see what happens. Hopefully we get something big. Nice, beautiful sky. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, weirdo? Yeah, we got to try it, though. Yeah, we got to try it at least one time. Uh, Irish has been, you know, right about quite a few things that I have tried. So I got to at least give it a shot. We're going to put it on the 12 first just to see what happens. Watch us catch the big one off of it, man. Like, I'd be so stoked. Yeah, there you go. That's why I'm going to start calling you as Wolfie. It don't sound right calling you weirdo. Like, it just don't sound nice. You know what I'm saying? So, that's your new name. Oh yeah, man, I am a Oki. Come on now. It's alright. Oh yeah, no, uh huh. It's just people on the stream. Yeah. They said okay, not Oki, you nerd. Hey, we're getting bites. Ah, oh, don't hate yourself. You're only human. All right, we caught something on the maggots. Let's go. At least it wasn't a complete bust. Oh, I hopefully, man, hopefully we do get a big one. We were knocking them dead the other night in size. I mean, just left and right. Today, they just ain't hitting. Maybe they move, you know, different location each day within the pond. Watch, in a minute, a big Megalodon's going to come up and just snag the bait. Okay. 
Man, they're liking that bait that's on two. Uh, this is a pretty decent sized fish. It's at least 10 plus pounds. This is off the maggots again. Man, here we are back out to seven, eight yards again. It's the eight yard fight. Well, at least we're back to catching fish. And we got the rain beating down on us. Man, that gets loud as hell through the headset. I mean, it gets really loud when the rain starts hitting the water. And then the dang birds, those drive me nuts. I wish I had a shotgun so I could turn around and just pop them. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, though. It's all right. We're all different, man. We're only human. Oh, what's going on here? It's not allowing me to pull out no line on him. There it goes. All right. And you say, man, it wasn't wanting to reel. It wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting there. I had me worried there for a second. Yeah, see, I'm real cautious, so I don't really get hurt a lot. I did when I was younger, though, not now that I'm older. Oh yeah, we back into the fish now.
Look, see, I like those pink maggots. They're all over them. Looks like this one might be another catfish, man. It's coming in real slow. Oh, look. Got it. It was a catfish. Twenty-one pounds, not as big as the other one, but still an okay size. These little fish crack me up. I need to grab these damn things and throw them all the way across the lake. Damn, two just snapped. That sucks. Man, hopefully that big one hits. Man, we got them all going again. Hey, what's up, Artful? <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully this is another nice one. I mean, it's taking it a little bit to get reeled in. Yeah, how you doing the received in art?
Oh, look, I said I wanted that big boy to come, but I wanted a decent-sized fish. When I was speaking of it, it came, and here it is, another decent-sized catfish, or at least a decent-sized carp. Oh, damn, yeah, man, it's getting pretty late where you're at. Well, thanks for at least stopping by and saying hello, though. You know what I'm saying? With as late as it is over there. Appreciate that. Yeah, I was going to say it's 7 where I'm at. No, sorry, I take that back. It is 7.45 where I'm at, so it's getting ready to be 8 o'clock. trying to catch, catch us some more uh, boss fish. We've already caught a few of them. None of the real big big ones yet though. We hooked one of them and he got out of the map. And Hey yeah man. Thumbs up man. I really appreciate it. There's a bad, that's one of the nice things about the internet, you know, and YouTubing and you get to talk to people, you know, across the so-called, you know, globe, but, you know, across the world, either way. Um, the, the downside is, though, is it's daytime there, nighttime here, or nighttime here, daytime there, and... It's kind of hard to meet up with people, you know what I'm saying, across the world at the same time. Man, I've been trying to roll me a dang cigarette now. For about five minutes. Every time I put the controller down, thinking, hey, it's going to be a second before they hit again, they just right back on. Sits in emo corner. What are you talking about, Wolfie? Oh man, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Irish Gaming that joins into the stream every now and then. Uh, he was telling me to use these pink maggots uh, that he caught a 100 pound catfish uh, off of them. So that's what we're, we got online too, are the maggots. That's what I'm trying now. We're going to see what happens. Figured we'd fish this lake today, pick another lake tomorrow, and, you know, kind of cycle through them if not pick another lake here after a bit and uh kind of check out what fish is where that's why i'm looking to catch man i want to catch one of them big boys i did catch snake uh the 50 pound catfish out of this hole that i'm fishing right now where i keep casting that's where i caught snake uh he's 50 pounds i caught felix which is 75 pounds or no sorry 74 pounds two ounces uh, on the other end of the lake, 
Um, I've hooked into the big one a couple of times now on this lake. Haven't got him reeled in yet, but I have hooked him. Um, so we're getting close. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna have to watch that video, man. I'm gonna have to check it out and see what's popping. And say, so, I don't know if you've seen that one video that I made. I made the, I recorded uh, me catching Felix. It was a nice little fight. And I think so far the biggest common carp I have caught was 90, or no, 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 sorry, 29 pounds and 9 ounces uh, was the biggest common that I've caught so far. Yeah, see, that's what I was wondering. Is it putting them on as a pile, or is it just putting them on, you know, in singles? Because the pink maggot, it shows that, you know what I'm saying, like in a little pile. But then the glow worm, uh, what is it, the white maggot and the green maggot, they all come up, you know, as singles. Yeah, I've mostly been fishing with uh, corn. That's what I've been catching all my big catfish off of is corn. I've been using that uh, double large sweet corn. See, that's what I got on this pole right here is the maggots. And we got something hooked. We got something hooked right here, man, on maggots. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right here, baby. Let's get it. Oh, well, thanks, Dodger. I appreciate that, man. It's always nice to get new subscribers, you know, and more within the community to socialize with and but look right here, we just hooked one of them big boys, man. Right here with the maggots. Let's go. Let's get pumped, baby. Oh, yes. Here's the fish of the night right here. This is off of them uh, little 10 mm's. 10, meter, 10 millimeter maggots, man. Uh, Irish just said to try it and see what happened. You know that he caught that big one off of it. And we just hooked at least a 50 pound plus right here. Easy. It's got to at least be in the 40 range. Like, there, there's no way it's putting up this much of a fight and, you know, it's going to come in a baby. This is a good size one. That's what's up, Christian. Get pumped, man. This is going to be a nice one. We might get off of corn, bro. If we get to start catching stuff like this off of something other than corn, man, we might start changing up bait a little bit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Appreciate it, Christian. Like I said, man, we're going to get that moderator deal figured out, man. I give, I give you my word. We're going to figure that out uh, tonight and in the morning with my girl. Ooh, eight yards out. Let's go. What is it? It's something big. It ain't small. It's not a catfish. Ooh, it's a big old fit. What the heck is it? Looks like a big old carp. It's like orange, white, and yellow. 
bro. 38 pounds, 10 ounces, two ton, another boss fish. And that was off the maggots right there, man. I'll show you exactly what I was using. Using them pinkies, man. That's crazy. That's a big fish. Oh, yeah, man. It's, that's crazy. I'm, I didn't think I would catch anything that big, you know what I'm saying, off something that is designed, you know, for these bait fish. That's why I've been using the big corn, you know what I'm saying? Because at least in the description of the big corn, it states, you know what I'm saying, it's for the bigger fish. But now that I know I can catch these big beasts off of the smaller stuff, yeah, I'm going to start changing up bait a little bit and trying new things. Cause that's pretty damn cool. Yeah, thanks, Dodger. Yeah, man, that's a new catch right there. That's the first time we caught him. Pretty stoked about that. Eventually, we're going to catch the big boy to this lake, though. Uh, Christian, he's been in here. He's seen me hook it a few times. And yesterday, we actually seen it come up out of the water. Like, you could see the whole back of it and everything. It was pretty cool. So now we just need to catch him. Oh, hell yeah, man. Yeah, you take it easy. Thanks for the sub, man. <laughs> That's funny, Christian. Oh, look, we already got another one on, too. This one's stuck at three yards. There it goes. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That guy was in the stream, uh, like what, like a week ago, less than a week ago, and he came back today and subbed, so that's pretty cool. Got us another sub. thinking you know once we get get the channel rolling and stuff and everybody sees you know the improvement you know from what it was I think we'll start getting more subs I think we'll start getting you know bigger live streams going and it's just going to take a little bit Why you say that?
Oh, I know you're not. Come on now. Oh yeah, they're starting to hit again now. Another small fry. Ooh, instantly picked it up and broken. I need to check durability on our lines. 25. So we got the drag set on them. Man, I am so tired. Alright guys, I think we're going to take like a 30 minute break. 
I'm going to go take a shower and get some food, wake up, and I think we'll come back and we'll try a different lake. 